Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome modern house. This one is a little bit on the smaller side, but that doesn't stop it from looking fantastic. As you can see, the main features of the house are, of course, the balcony out front, the double front doors. We have a little garden on the front of the house. We have steps leading to the second floor of the house for some quick entry. We even have a little balcony out here from the big main part of the house. And as you can see, the house is a little bit further as well and if we move out back of the house you'll see that we have this lovely little farm as well so you can see that the entire build is actually quite practical it's quite functional it looks great and on top of all of those things it's really easy to build if you like this video please do remember to hit that like I'd really appreciate that if you do enjoy the content subscribe to the channel and always do feel free to suggest more stuff that you want to see in the future but without any further ado let me show you how to make this thing. So if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some birch wood planks, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some birch wood fence, some grey concrete, blue stained glass, some blue stained glass pane. We'll need some iron doors, some way to open those iron doors, and we'll need some shovels, poppies, flower pots, diamond hose, some seeds, you know, stuff for the outside of the house mainly. That's what all of that stuff's for. If you don't want to do it like me, then you don't really need all of the other inventory materials. But we do need everything that I have in my hotbar right now And we're going to begin this build with a row of eight birchwood planks coming directly up from the ground So once you've figured out where you want to make it up from the ground One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight birchwood planks Take that row of eight birchwood planks and starting from the very bottom block going behind So this is where the back of the build is going to be We want to do two glass pane One, two Followed by three birch wood planks, one, two, three. Followed by two glass pane, one, two. Six birch wood planks, one, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to look back on what we've just made. And we want to come across the back of the build by doing two glass coming across the back. That's going to be one, two. We then want to do a birch wood, one glass, then two birch wood. One, two. Then five glass. One, two, three, four, five. Then two birch wood. Look back on yourself. And we want to come towards the front of the build by six with the birch wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to once again look back on ourselves. And we want to come across the front of the build by doing one birch wood. Followed by five glass. That's one, two, three, four, five. We then want to do two birch wood, one, two. We then want to do two glass going left, one, two. We then want to move the glass towards us by one. We want to do three birch wood planks still coming towards the front, one, two, three. We then want to do once again two glass, one, two, and then a birch wood. So the floor plan looks a little bit like that. And what's cool about the floor plan is you can now take every single birch wood that you have, and I do mean every single one of them, and you can add upon those birch woods until you have the same height of birch wood planks going all the way around the build. So we don't do this for the glass just yet. Uh, we will be adding up the glass, but we do want to add up all of the birch wood planks until all of the birch wood is eventually as high as all of the other birch wood. It all wants to be about eight blocks high. That is what we started off with, and that's what we'll finish with as well. But you guys can see me doing it here. I'm just raising up uh, all of the birch wood. This is actually a particular weird shape. It's kind of like a U, but we want to... Nope, there's none there. We want to do these two rows. I, I done goof placing a the block there. Up here and down and up and here this one too and we want to just raise up all of them until they are equally as high so there we go and we just have these three rows left I do believe so here here and here okay so next thing we want to do is this so we are going to take all of the glass and here's where things differ a bit we want to add two layers of glass on top of every glass. So wherever you have glass, you want to add one, two, one, and two. And this wants to be present absolutely everywhere. So one, two, one, two, 
One, two. One, two, so on and so forth. I'm not going to keep counting to two because that will drive me crazy. But you guys get the idea. We want to just simply add two glass absolutely everywhere until uh buh, 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 until uh we've well until we've added glass everywhere i don't know what else to tell you it's the same thing as the birch you want to do the same thing except on a slightly lesser scale and a more irritating scale at that because glass is not fun to place as you guys know there we go we now and we this is a bit tricky i guess you want to add a layer of birchwood planks on top of the glass going around the build so wherever you can you want to add a layer of birch wood glass going all the way around the build now this is subject to change once we've actually built the house we may destroy certain parts of the birch wood and we may replace it with glass uh, we might not do that and we might replace um, and we might just keep some birch wood but i mean for now we just want to have this what you can also do is you can also connect no, you can't one, two, three. No, you can't. Okay. So what you want to do is you then want to continue with your glass and you want to fill in the rest of the build with glass. So continuing going upwards from where you had your glass, you just want to continue filling it up. I was about to uh, do something a bit silly then, um, which would have changed the build, but uh, luckily I didn't. I was going to tell you to connect everything together at the top so that like we'd have a lesser area to fill in, but that would have been completely wrong and I would have looked stupid. So, you know, I'm only looking half stupid for realizing late. It's fine. So we just want to... Oh, come on. Uh, there we go. Uh, we just want to place all of our glass absolutely everywhere. And like I said, I might even connect the glass a little bit later on. I'll show you what I mean. Um, we're going to be making some entrances. We're going to be making some exits and stuff. So, it, you know, this, this stuff isn't 100% set in stone anyway. We'll figure it out as we go. So there we go. So what we want to have so far should look like this. But now run a row of grey concrete going all the way around the top of your build. So simply place a row of grey concrete going all the way around the top of your build like this. You guys can see what I'm talking about. It wants to follow the shape of your build um, to a T or actually more like an L shape really. Kind of looks like a cartoon gun or an L or a J, whatever. And it wants to go all the way around the top. So once you have that first layer of grey concrete on top of the roof of your house, this is a little detail that I almost forgot about, is you actually want to add then a layer of grey concrete around the top of that, if that makes sense. So you kind of want to reinforce the shape, you want to make it two blocks thick, and it simply just wants to orbit the outside of the top of the house as you can see me doing right here. So you want to end up with the same shape pretty much just reinforced, it overhangs the house. And this is important because it creates a level of depth. And what we're now going to do is we're going to take out our quartz slabs and we're going to place a layer of quartz slabs going all the way around the bottom of the grey concrete. So this is going to be quartz slabs going all the way around the bottom of the concrete. It's going to put a nice little trim on it and it's just going to look good is pretty much the entire point of this. Like that. But that looks a little odd all by its lonesome, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to add yet another layer of quartz slab, leaving half a rose gap above the quartz slab. So just leave half a rose gap between the quartz slab and we want to add another layer of quartz slab. You guys get the idea, just going all the way around the top, orbiting the concrete and uh, it's just going to look quite nice. And it will look better as well once we've got the frame in place. So we want to have something which should look like that. So you see, it does look kind of nice, but the roof almost looks a bit too big at the moment. That will change. Uh, I'm going to fill the roof in using blue stained glass block. Uh, that's that's what I want to fill the roof in. I, I want the roof to be nice and... Well, I want the entire house to be nice and bright. So I think that filling the roof in simply with... Um, with glass is probably the right move. So, if you don't want a bright house, don't fill it in with glass, I guess. Uh, once you've filled in the roof with glass, we're going to add the second floor into the house because there's a lot of entrances and exits and balconies and it's easier if we've got a second floor put in. 
The second floor is in line with where you place the horizontal row of virtual planks going all the way around the house. So the layer between the two layers of glass here, this is where the floor is going to be. And I'm making my floor out of quartz because it contrasts nicely with everything else. We've not used this material inside yet. And it also keeps the interior nice and bright. If we were to use grey, we've not got any grey on the inside, but it'd make it dark. I don't really want that. I want to keep it nice and bright and modern like that. So once you've got those things sorted out, we can move on to the next bit. So first of all, I'm just going to add in the entrance to the house, by the way. So the entrance to the house is meant to be here, like where we kind of first started off. It's just double doors with glass above them like that. That's where the entrance is, just to give you some um, perspective. And also, speaking of... Um, no, we'll, we'll take care of it later. So, grab yourself the block of quartz. We've got a couple of rows of block of quartz to add about the place, alright? So, coming outwards from the entrance of the house, we want to place a block of quartz. So, coming outwards diagonally, here and here, for instance, blocks of quartz. We also want to place a block of quartz in this position, just in the middle of the house, in the right-hand side of the house. It's between this window, this window, in the middle of row three. On the front right-hand corner of the house, which is here, we want to place a block of quartz. And on the back right-hand corner, block of quartz. Also, on the back left-hand corner, block of quartz, like this. So just about on every single corner block you can find. And what you want to do is you want to add four block of quartz on top of every single one of those. So that's going to be one, two, three, and four. And that's going to be one, two, three, and four. And that's going to be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And that was long for one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. And we then want to go up on top of those blocks, those fourth blocks, with our birch wood fence. And we actually want to connect to the roof of the house. So you want to connect those fourth blocks to the roof of the house using your birch wood fence, as I am now. So every single one of those rows, connect it upwards and it will look quite good. And it will stop the house looking a little bit weird dimension wise, because it, beforehand it did kind of look strange with the roof being so big. But you can see that it's slowly being leveled out by adding all of this additional frame. So we just want to add all of this like that. We also want to connect all of the base quartz blocks together. So, minus the front, where we'll be walking in through the entrance, we want to connect all of the other base quartz blocks together. Just going around, kind of like going around the shape. Once again, this is kind of to reinforce the shape, to add a bit of a frame, and it does make the house look a little less weird. So, it, it really does make it look just a little bit less weird like this. We've got a couple of things to add, so the first of which is the balcony on the front of the house. So just above the doors, where we have this row of block of quartz, we want to place a row of grey concrete in front, like this. And then, can we put yeah, another row of grey concrete in front of that. Place quartz slab going all the way around the top of the grey concrete. And place glass going all the way around the top of the slab, and this creates a nice balcony. We're also going to create kind of like just a doorway out onto the balcony. So up at the top, we're going to place glass with quartz slab underneath it like that. And that just kind of leads out from the balcony like that. Speaking of balconies, we also have another balcony. So where we have this big window on the second floor on the right hand side of the house, this is going to be another balcony. So, okay, so for this balcony, we want to place an entire row of grey concrete in between the two windows. We want to extend that grey concrete left and right by one, and extend the original row towards you by one row. We want to place a block of quartz on top of the left hand sticky out grey concrete and the right hand sticky out grey concrete. And we want to place a trim of quartz slab around the exposed row of grey concrete, like this. And we want to place blue stained glass pane all the way around the trim of the balcony. We also want to create like an exit out from the balcony. So we're just going to destroy all of this glass except for the row at the top. And we're going to place a row of quartz slab just underneath the top row of glass here. 
just going to place a row of quartz slab just underneath this top row of glass here. That's looking good. And that will be that. Looking good. So, we also have an entrance to the second floor. That is on this side here. So, this window next to the front balcony is going to be made in a similar way. So, we're going to destroy all of the glass pane except the top two. We're going to place quartz slab underneath. And we're going to place ourselves a... We're going to place two block of quartz coming outwards from... Are we? Are we going to do that? No, we're not. So we're going to place two quartz stairs coming outwards from the birch wood. And then we're going to make a way to place kind of like a stairway of quartz stairs coming downwards like this. Coming down from the birch wood down to the ground like this. And we're going to place grey concrete on the sides of the quartz stairs. So coming downwards on the sides of the quartz stairs like this, coming all the way down, hit the ground. Perfect. That's looking pretty good. But we also have the back to do. So on the back, we have a way to get from the second floor down to the ground where we have a little farm. This doorway is the, it's like opposite the front balcony. And it's made in the same way. So once again, it's glass at the top and it's quartz slabs underneath. And it's going to just be like a row of quartz stairs coming out from this birch wood. And then we're just going to create, once again, kind of like a little bit of a walkway. This does, you don't even have to copy mine with this. I mean, you can just use your quartz stairs to kind of like make a, a very normal looking path all the way down like this. Is this going to work? There we go. Down here. And you'll be able to just like come down like that. And you make a very nice normal looking stairs. And if you just place a trim of grey concrete on the side of it like this. And just build it up so that it doesn't look weird. Then, um, I don't know. Then it will just be a nice suitable sort of walkway. Is that fine? Does that look okay? Is that weird? That Yeah, that, that actually looks fine. And then if you wanted to, like this is where I built a farm on mine because I, I don't know, I kind of like mixing modern and I kind of like mixing eco and I kind of like mixing like nature and, and modern and stuff. So I don't know, I, I kind of like building farms and stuff, especially around modern builds. Um, so there you go, that's the back of the house. And that is actually most of the house pretty much complete. Uh, there's also a front garden though. So the front garden is basically, what we do is we use our quartz slabs and we connect the front right hand side of the house to the like right hand side corner of the house. So we place two rows of quartz slabs coming outwards like this, connecting together in a like rectangular shape. We raise up the corner, knock out two blocks to the left, raise up that corner so you can see that we now like have a walkway and then we can just start adding some nice stuff around the house so we can start adding some plants we can start adding some uh, flowers and stuff so like we'll dig out a path leading to the stairs here so we're just going to dig out a grass path leading to these stairs um maybe we'll even have a little bit of water i i completely forgot i added water to this thing but we could even have like a little bit of a water pond here in the corner and for that we'd actually need, well we'd need water surprisingly enough to make a little bit of a water pond, wouldn't we? I like that. And then if we add some poppies kind of like going around the garden. And this is actually kind of cool because we can um, place some, ah, come on. We can, we can place the poppies going all the way around and it can kind of connect um, next to the grass path. And we do have, once we've done this little bit of the garden, we do actually have a uh, just one more thing to do as well, like structurally. Um, that I mean, let, Let's see how it looks without it. So yeah, that, that's a nice front little garden that you can add to the house. It looks quite nice. All the way around the house, I had planned that where the, where like we have the balcony, yeah, where we have the quartz slabs, I had planned that we'd also have a row of quartz slab that kind of goes all the way around the house. So, just going all the way around the house, just a layer of quartz slab, um, just to kind of like connect things together, finish it off, even like here in between the balcony, uh, balconies, just, and the walkways and stuff. Um, it's just a nice, cool little thing to, uh, I don't know, it just adds a little bit of a trim onto things. It's just about adding those little finishing touches that look nice. 
Um, some things that you can add. I, I'm a massive fan of these little torches, like a fence and a torch, I think look quite nice. So maybe in the corner with the pond, I quite like that. I'm always a fan of um, potting plants and stuff, so if you just wanted to chuck like a flower and a poppy or something in it, that looks quite nice. Maybe even one up here on the balcony as well would look quite good. I, li I quite like that. Um, we can create a bit of a farm in the back garden, so let's hoe out, let's hoe out an area. So let's say um, this is going to be the walkway here, and then we can just like hoe this. And this can be where our little farmland is. Or you could have a smaller farmland, bigger farmland, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Looks quite good like that. And, I mean, it's, it really is just about little finishing touches then. I mean, like, for the entrance of the house, for example. Like, we could add more potted plants for a bit more colour. We could add ourselves a pressure plate walkway in and out of the house. Um, we can even add like little lights and stuff to the outside of the house like we'd need torches and item frames and maybe maybe a color maybe like uh, maybe like a blue maybe like uh, you stick a torch on the wall next to the doors item frames in it and then maybe like a blue or something inside the torch or inside the item frame looks quite nice these are just ideas people I mean that's that's looking quite nice though I mean that's really nice easy house it's not that hard to make it is quite elaborate looking and uh, it's I mean the inside isn't that bad either I mean you can fit quite a few things in there as you might have saw from the start of the video hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please do remember to hit that like I'd really appreciate that I honestly would if you could hit that like button I I would it really helps me out it honestly does um, if you enjoy the content consider subscribing to the channel if you subscribe click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box if you want to see something specific comment down below Low and let me know otherwise I won't know and on top of those things if you want to check out any more of my stuff check out the card system in the description below you'll be able to make all of the things that you can see around me I've got a nice mix of all sorts all sorts of builds and uh, I'm sure that you guys uh, will have fun checking out my channel thank you so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video